But from a military point of view, it doesn't seem to be going very well for the Russians. No, it doesn't. And I think that um, uh, many mili military commentators will have said that um, in terms of these sort of conventional large scale operations, the Russians have lost their mojo a bit uh, since the Second World War. Uh, I think the truth of the matter is that they uh, were prepared uh, for this incursion to be a sprint, and they've ended up uh, being involved in a marathon. And uh, the biggest indication of that, I think, is, is the stalled convoy, which everybody talks about, uh, to the north of uh, Kiev, the 40-mile-long co convoy, which is basically going nowhere at the moment. Stuart, so let, me, that, Stuart um, let, me, let me just butt in at that point, Stuart, because it's intriguing. On Twitter, there's an extraordinary thread by uh, a, a, an FSB, Soviet, uh, rather Russian intelligence guy, translated by a friend of his, basically making those points and more, uh, that they can't restock that column. It is stuck in the mud uh, and that some of the equipment that they've got is not the best that's available uh, to them as well. So it's not only a general theory that maybe it's not going quite as well as it ought to, but quite specifically, basic stuff is going wrong. No, absolutely. And, uh, and uh, I'm glad you mentioned that Twitter thread because I read it very quickly about two minutes ago, and it's really quite fascinating stuff. If it is indeed genuine, uh, and of course, one would need to check some of the, um, uh, the, the, the bits of it against uh, secondary sources. But I think that the, uh, the Russians have come unstuck. And what we're seeing now is an operational pause where they reconsider what they're going to do next. Um, much more successful in the South. That may have something to do with the quality of troops involved. Um, but what we are now entering in is basically that the um, a serious grinding down attritional warfare based around the cities. And it is in the cities, I believe, that the Ukrainian defense forces have most chance of uh, not losing, which I think must be their big aim at the moment.